Hello, uh, Bay Club members. This is Ralph Acosta videotaping in my my neighbor's Bigelow Court in Bonita. I uh, hope you're doing fine and staying safe. I'm going to be showing you how to dink. And uh, a lot of times we can't see. Okay, so we, if you can get a bench that's like almost three feet high. And the idea of, uh, about uh, dinking is knowing the location. All right, so my location is going to be, I can't see the, if I'm way in the back, I can't really see the line, the no volley line, but I can see Bruce's feet. All right, that's Bruce Bogart, my neighbor. And uh, so my, my goal is to hit it at his feet. And just like horseshoes, if I'm throwing the horseshoe, I know my location, okay? So my apex will be figured out in my mind. It's going to be halfway to his feet. So if you take a picture of his feet, you can go right at his feet. The most important thing about a dinking is that the ball is descending and he has to hit up, and so he can't hit hard. So take a picture of his feet, aim at the picture, in your mind's eye. Okay? So we can do it farther away too. Or you see farther away? Yeah. We should move over here. So, about farther away. Like, um, you're, at, you're uh, like three feet, seven feet away. And I'm way far away. Right. So you can be close. So from here, if I'm doing top spin or under spin, my apex can be halfway to his feet. Take a picture of his feet. There it is. He's got to hit up, and he can't hit hard. You can do top spin, same thing. Right. When you dig, make sure you take a short back swing and a long fall move. All right. So the main thing is is to have the arch halfway from your paddle to your opponent's feet. So I can't really see lines from really far away, but I can see his feet. Right? As long as he's having to get up, I'm good. Uh, so I hope that helps. You can use a bench. Just try to get seven feet away. That's the kitchen line. And uh, you're good to go. All right? Hope that helps. I hope to see you uh, soon after this COVID virus 19 is over with. Love you guys.